Hi guys, it's David at Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? I'm back at the long-term experiment, the long-term experiment on Chaga. Uh, if you've not seen the previous episodes on this, it's probably best to go back and look at them, but uh, I'll just cover it in brief detail. Basically, what I have here is a Chaga fungus. And this Chaga fungus was cut off this tree, this birch tree, um, completely down to the wood now it would be two and a half years ago. The last update I did on this was in December, January, Dece December 2017 or January 2018. It is now March 2019, so 14 months ago. And what I showed in that video was how much of the chaga had grown back in the 18 months since it had been completely cut down to the bare wood. I did this because there's a common story myth going around on chaga that if you cut it completely off the tree, then the, this conch part of the chaga, because of course chaga is a fungus which has completely infested the tree. Inside this tree, the mycelium, mycelia of the, of the chaga is living and, and, and growing, and the chaga actually kills the tree. But there's a myth that if you cut completely off the chaga, that it will not grow back and this is not true i've looked at traga for 10 15 years and i've seen it be cut off and grow back during that time and so what i want to do is actually prove this on video through the medium of youtube that there is no set limit that you have to leave on the tree what you'll commonly see is you say say people say you have to leave 30 percent on the tree that's not true chaga is a living organism it's unpredictable you can completely cut it off and it will never grow back that can happen you can completely cut it off and it will grow back. There's not some magic limit you have to leave it on. And so what I'm going to show is now this has actually grown back. Since I put out that video, it's quite a popular video, and I uh, wasn't sure, I did say I'd do a, a repeat of it, come back and look at it. I, wouldn't, I wasn't sure if I actually would because I didn't know how people, interested people would be in it. But actually, people have uh, quite regularly asked me for the update, so that's why I'm doing the update. Since that uh, video has gone up, I've noticed there seems to be another myth about chaga and that states that people come and argue with me on about in the comment section and that is that if you completely chuck cut the chaga off the tree will die that's not true chaga is a parasite on the tree and it is killing the tree it attacks diseased and injured trees and it will eventually kill it the life cycle of chaga means that chaga will not fruit it will not reproduce itself until the host tree itself dies so for chaga to reproduce, it needs to kill the tree itself. Cutting the chaga off does not kill the tree. This tree, any tree you see with chaga on it, is diseased and is dying. Let's let the bus go by. So you can see I'm out in the wilds today. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the life cycle of chaga means it does need to kill the tree. This is not a fruit and body. This sometimes gets called a fruit and body. This isn't a fruit and body. Uh, science is not really sure what it is, it's just the growth that comes out of the chaga externally on the tree. And as this tree has now been had it completely cut off, two and a half years later, this tree is not dead. Another thing about the life cycle of trees. Trees do not die on the same time scale as human beings or as animals. Animals get sick and they die. Maybe it takes a few days, a few weeks or a few years. Trees can die for 100 years, for decades, 30, 40 years. A tree can be dying for 150 years. It's slowly dying and dying. That is how trees die. They don't suddenly get sick and then die. Sometimes they do, of course. But sick trees will take a, many human generations to actually die. So the concept of when a tree dies and what you can do to a tree to make it die in terms of removing chaga can't be conceptualized in the same way. If you take the chaga off within a few months, it's gonna be dead. Within a couple of years, it's gonna be dead. That's not true. Maybe you take the chaga off, in a hundred years it dies. Are the two things connected? Are the two things related? Maybe, maybe not. You take the chaga off and then maybe two years it, it dies. Is that related to you removing the chaga? No, it's not. It's because this tree was dying anyway. To estimate the regrowth of this chaga, we know that two and a half, nearly three years ago, this was underneath this black brown area from here to here, was nearly, well it was, it was completely down to the bare wood. So if I can drill down to the bare wood with my gimlet, that's going to give me an estimate of how many centimetres or inches for you North Americans that this has grown back. And I've got my gimlet, I'm not sure if I'm going to be drilling into it, but let me choose a, a 
appears to be the thickest part and I'll drill into it and I should feel when I get to the, the hard wood hopefully I should be able to feel when it gets starts to get harder okay I think that's in the hardwood now so I put it out so that's gone in at that point now two centimeters that's about a little bit under an inch just at that point now I mean really all I'm proving here is it's growing back and it's grown back around two centimeters to one inch three quarters of an inch I would say across the complete span I'll do the same thing here okay now I've reached the wood I can feel it's and again there is it focusing it's gone in about one and a half centimeters there so this after two and a half years has grown back a depth across the full pre-existing surface of the chagger one and a half to two centimeters it's difficult to visualize on the on the picture i guess i'll be cutting in pictures of what how it looked a year and a half ago i can push my push my knife into it and it's grown back almost to one centimeter there again about one centimeter there there is no doubt this chagger is growing back and is continuing to grow back this pretty much backs up my general ideas or experience of chagger a chagger of this size and you see it's quite wide does grow about outwards about one centimeter a year after five years this would be five centimeters out that would be around just over two inches and then that would be quite a considerable growth lump sticking out of this tree which is how we tend to think of chaggers being bulbous bits coming out chaggers if they're smaller chaggers say the size of a small orange which is sticking out or uh, a walnut something like that they grow out much faster because they don't have the same surface area when you've got one which has got a large surface area like this it grows across the surface area so it actually comes out away from the tree slower in summary you do not have to leave this magic 30 percent of tragger on the tree for it to grow back of course if you want to come back exactly the next year and take some more off it yeah leave 30 percent because then you've left more it's not continuing to grow it's just you've left more on it so when you come back the next year there's going to be more there if you completely strip it back it's going to take a number of years to grow back Chagger is a very slow uh, growing organism in the conch form removing a chagger conch from a tree does not kill the tree this tree is already dying any tree with a chagger on it is diseased and on the way to dying anyway it's just how many years away from dying it already is and certainly removing the chagger is not going to kill it if anything it's going to help the tree because you're removing a part of the parasite which is actually killing the tree if you disagree with me feel free to get down in the comment section but this is visual evidence being shown over a number of years that removing chagger does not kill the tree and removing chag removed chagger does grow back. Thanks for watching guys. Until the next time, take it easy.